Francisco, this is a review of your lesson from November 2nd and of 2020, and we'll get right into it. Um, going in order of the, the notes that I sent in an email, and top priority this week and for the next several weeks is to make sure that your left hand fingers are straight. And we did this in the lesson by um, applying a splint of some sort. We used um, like one of these plastic knives or whatever, but you need to tape it to your finger and a pointer finger is the best one. And you want to tape it so that the tape, the tape goes right near the tip of your finger, right? And it leaves this part open, okay? And then the rest of the tape, other piece will go here. Okay, first we're gonna do the normal scale, nice and slow, not too fast, controlling your upper hand now that I've asked you to change it. Ready? One, two. to do that a couple of times maybe it's up to you the next thing we did not actually do this during the lesson but a G grace note scale same as the G the normal scale obviously with a grace note try it at the same tempo this is gonna challenge your new split here that you have on your G grace note finger and you may have to slow this down ready one two <laughs> The next thing on your list is, um, I say one line of the low A to E transition, and you'll have sheet music in your email for that, low A to E, and we're going to do eight of those total, okay? Eight of those. And I'm going to speed up the metronome a little bit on this one for you. So ready? One. Two. Okay, same thing now from low A to F, eight of those. Ready? One, two. Okay, next on the list is low A to high G. This will also challenge your pointer finger to stay straight. Ready? One, two. Might have done an extra one there. All right, the next on the list is one line of E to F. And you may recall during the lesson, we did E to F for the sole purpose of challenging your, your splinted straight pointer finger to be in a place where it needs to be. If it's too low, right, and it interferes with the F finger, that's no good, right? You need to have space between them. And only you know what that right spacing is. This exercise will kind of force that a little bit. Okay, so you can hear the metronome in the background. This will be E to F, eight of those. Ready? One, two. If 
that's too fast, go ahead and slow down the recording or just play it on your own. The next thing on the list was High Road to Gerlach. For now, what I want to do is play for you High Road to Gerlach at a not too fast tempo. We're going to go down to about, about 49 beats per minute is where we are. I'm going to play just the first part. Ready? One, two. And then the next thing on the list is Amazing Grace. And I'm not going to play that here today. I'm going to let you just play that on your own and have, um, well, experiment with how the splint works um, with that tune. And we'll go over that together more in the next lesson. And then the last thing that you want to do in your routine is um, a Torlua speed exercise. And the whole point of the speed exercise, as you may recall, is to start slowly and then ramp up the speed until you make a mistake. And the game is that you stop as soon as you make a mistake and start over. And the, the goal of the game is to play it as fast as you can, as accurately as you can. So here's an example of how that might go. You need to do this on your own, but you can hear this. Something like that. Have fun.